our responsive reading has been selected from Psalms 111, verses 1 through 9. Our congregation of him will be holy, holy, holy. And we've asked Deacon Sterling to lead us to the throne of grace. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, so are all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He has made his wonderful works for his number, the Lord is great. He hath given me unto, the, unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath shown his people all his works, and he may give them the heritage The works of his hand are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand and pray forever and ever, and have done to you. All he sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his God to go Yeah. Yeah. 
back. We just plant the seed back into God's kingdom. For those that have the envelopes, can you please raise them? And for those that are watching us provide social media or a conference call, you also can give through Zell's Pay at Corinthian MBC, the number two, NOLA at gmail.com, and also at Gillifly at Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church, number two. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning. Thank you for the small token that you have given to us so that we can give back to you, Father God. But Father God, we ask, Father God, that you bless us, Father God, with the same manner that it was given, Father God. And continue to look down on us and strengthen us, Father God. And Father God, just continue to keep us whole. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. It says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down and shake it together. And running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it should be measured to you again. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Where have we robbed thee? In tithes and an offering. Ye are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Gracious eternal God, our Father, we are thankful for the givers, and we ask for blessings upon those who had a desire to give but were not able. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. Amen. Thank you, amen. 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 Thank you for what you have given. God bless you all. I trust you all have it. Wonderful Thanksgiving Day, hopefully, and no one ate too much. <laughs> I try my best not to, but I, I got to tell the truth. I ate thirds. <laughs> and then in the middle of the night, I got up in the wee hours. <laughs> and I ate some more. Amen. Uh, but we, we trust that you're doing good. It's good to see you all again. In the Lord's house, uh, some people look like they're still celebrating. <laughs> but that's okay. We thank God for those who are here. And those of you who are here are in the Lord's will. It was willed for you to be here. And you ought to give yourselves a hand of praise for being in the Lord's house. And you come to the right place because God protected you all last week. And you made it to his house again. And you know that devil's mad with you. I might as well let you know. He don't give up. He's not giving up. His mission is to find a way to impede your progress. And he's always poking and prying and trying to find a way in. Now he can't occupy your space because the Holy Ghost is there. But he can influence your thoughts by giving suggestions. And it's not by accident that certain things that you attempted would is so hard to just drop. It's because you there is demonic influence that's trying to impede your relationship with God. And so since you're here another week, <laughs> you might as well be on God. You better step up your prayer life. Because he's, he real come after you. Okay? He's coming after all of us, not just you. He's coming after me too, but I'm used to it. <laughs> but on today, the Lord has placed in my heart for another one of our associate ministers uh, to give us a word from him. And he placed in my heart Minister Owens. Minister Owens is a faithful minister here, and I'm proud of all the associate ministers. And I'm happy to work with all of them. And minister Owens does a good job with following up when I'll sit and shut in. And he keeps me informed when I need information. He'll let me know what's going on, and I thank him for that. So we are asking that you would pray with him, pray for him that the Lord will use him mightily and that he would be able to give us a clear word from the Lord for this week. Yeah. And so after the choir had rendered their worship, 
next voice you would hear would be that of Minister Gregory Owens. Let us give the Lord a hand praise.
Pastor Reverend Nigel Thompson. Well, and thank you, you Pastor, for allowing me the opportunity to share the word with your congregation from God. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Breathe, breathe. To my Pastor Emeritus, Pastor Johnson. Oh, uh, to my spiritual family. Excuse me, but first my Ecclesiastes brother of the gospel. Thank you for all your support throughout my ministry. Lord. And lastly, to my spiritual family, the officers and the members of the Corinthian Bishop Baptist Church number two. And have allowed me throughout the years to preach to y'all. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and myself. Well, God has given me a word to share with you. Yeah. And that word will be coming from the 17th chapter of Luke. All right. All right. Drop down to verse 11 and walk with me through verse 19. Okay. But my con verse of concentration will be for uh, well, verse 14. All so right. you kindly stand if you can. <clears throat> and the word of God says, and it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And he entered into a certain village, and there he met him ten men that were left, which stood apart, uh, apart far off apart. Excuse me. And they lifted up their voices and they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Yeah. And he saw them and said unto them, Go show yourselves to the priests. Right. And it came to pass that they did as he, I mean, came to pass that they went as, he, as they were cleansed. Right. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back with a loud voice, glorifying God. Right. And fell down on his face, at his feet, giving thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered, saying, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Oh, there are not found that return to glory to give glory to God. Save this stranger. And he said unto them, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made you whole. Amen. Kind of understand. Heavenly Father, my prayer is that is that this sermon be all of you and none of me. Yeah. In Jesus' name, thank God. And amen. 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 This morning I would like to speak into your hearing from the topic Thanksgiving. Amen. Thanksgiving. To show gratitude or appreciation with gesture of acknowledgement for what someone has done. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, according to Webster College Dictionary, number one, an act of giving thanks. Uh. Number two, a prayer of gratitude. Yeah. All right. Number three, the fourth. Thursday in November, I observed as a holiday for giving thanks for divine goodness. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. Now, this day of Thanksgiving was instituted some 400 years ago at Plymouth Rock. The Puritans who had settled here as indentured servants uh, for the King of England felt that this land would make them independent from the mother country, England. And they found that the crop that they harvest were of excellent variety. My, my. Thus, nicknamed in America, the land of milk and honey. Yeah. Now, I have read uh, about several foreign countries throughout my lifetime. But I have found America to be the greatest even with her prejudice and ills. There's not a country that can match her strength yeah. and beauty. Yeah. So 
these early Americans celebrated the day of Thanksgiving. Yeah, my Lord. And according to the books that I have read, Interpretation of American History by Grubbs and Billius, these men did not give an biased opinion about American history. They even brought out America's prejudice and unfair treatment of Negroes and black Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Men, in, men in a nation of history by Mansur and Peoples and World Civilization, the eighth edition by Ralph Lerner, Meacham, and Burns. Mm -hmm. Now I want to apologize if I have not given the dates of publication. Mm -hmm. But America did not strive on a deep religious base, yeah. um, but felt that what they had gained was because of their effort mm. and not the supernatural power of God protection on America. Yeah. 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 And it wasn't until later, in 1630, that William Bradford, a Puritan writer of Plymouth Plantation, was perhaps the most preeminent work of art. Now, written in 1630 and 1640, while he was the governor of the colony, the history told the tale of a small band of pilgrims mm -hmm. who first came to England, to Harlem, and then to the New World. Mm -hmm. There are not other documents that reflect so perfectly the deep feeling of religious dedication of the New English settlers. The, Puritan, the Puritans had simple had an ideal of a simple, plain, literary style of master, so well rhythm of the biblical poets. How in a cold and desolated country uh -huh. did the people of the different origin, origin came together to help each other to survive the harsh winter of that region. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. yes. They felt that this was an act of God. Mm. And we must have a desire to help those that are struggling in this city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My heart bleeds for those that are sleeping on the streets and, mm -hmm. and under the bridges and, mm -hmm. and in abandoned houses. Mm -hmm. We can fix these ills if we would only care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They felt that America and New England became to them the new camp. Right. Yeah. The place where God set apart for man to experience in a way of Christian living. Well. Now Massachusetts became more uh, than a mere colony. It, it was to be, in the words of John Wintroff, a city upon a hill, a universal model of utopia to demonstrate to the rest of the world that a city of God on earth along the lines of an idea set forth in the New Testament could be established. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the text. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto uh, uh, thy name, O, 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 o Most High. Uh, it is a good thing to give thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. It is good to thank those that are in your life. And, yeah. and, and the songstress, the songstress sang, uh, says, I must sing also praises to thy mm -hmm. name. Uh, God, you are the center of my joy. Uh, yeah. Jesus, you are the center of my joy. Uh, right. God, you are worthy of all my praises. Uh, and I know, Lord, that my voice is not melodious, uh, but I'm going to sing. Uh, I know I sing right. off key, uh, but I'm going to praise you, and I don't understand what a key but I'm going to praise you for what you have done yeah. for me. Yeah. It's all right if I don't sound good. Yeah. I give God the glory uh, yeah. when he inhabits the praises of his people. Uh, yeah. You can sing because there's joy in praising God. Uh, there's a blessing in being thankful, not just on Thanksgiving, but every day should be a Thanksgiving yeah. unto yeah. the Lord. Yeah. 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 Breathe, man. Breathe. 
Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm reminded of the 10th yeah. Luke yeah. the 17th chapter, yeah. verses uh -huh. 11 through 19. And as I said earlier, my verse of concentration will be verse 14. Now, there were these 10 lepers that huh. were set apart in the city because they were ostracized by the people. And the Bible says that, the, the Bible says that they stood afar off and, yeah. and probably to avoid being ridiculed uh, no. as we would do, or perhaps it was just a custom to exclude people who weren't like you. But yet, there was one in the group that was thankful for the miracle that had just taken place Hallelujah. in his life. Yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and the one of them that when he saw that he was healed, he turned back yeah. and watched this. Uh, now, one of our problems is we can't see and we don't want to turn back, but God is seeking those that are ready to fall down yeah, yeah. and worship him in their hearts. And, yeah. and they know that God has yeah. healed them. Yeah. 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 Now, when 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 God comes into your life, you you must turn back. You yeah. must turn to God with joy. When God uh, turns back to God, when you turn back to God, you are giving God the glory for the miracle that He has performed in your life. Uh, yeah. This man turned to God, and oh God, I'm thankful. Uh, I have been with leprosy for yeah. too long. Uh, I had. It for a long time, but yeah, you cleanse yeah. me up. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been able to see my family, but I can go home now. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I haven't been able to embrace, embrace my wife, but I can love her now. Thank you, Jesus. I can't play with my children, but thank you, Jesus. I had no respect in the community, but God, you cleansed me, and I am so thankful. Uh, oh, is there yeah. anybody here yeah. that God has cleansed? Yeah. Yeah. Then why don't you thank him? Uh, yeah. I, I, I couldn't visit with my boys, but I could stand in the street market now and fellowship with my friends. Uh, yeah. I couldn't go to church with right. God, but now God, I can show myself to the priest. Uh, you must be thankful unto God yeah. for the things that he has done oh, yeah. in your life. Yeah. 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 Now, so many of us, so, so many of us are like the other nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be yeah. ungrateful and unkind, yeah. uh, and whom we bless. Right, my Lord. But we must have a desire to bless the man and woman of God yeah. to receive a blessing. Jesus at that moment represents the position of a pastor in the lives of his disciples. Yeah. Yeah. So this man who recognized he was healed just came back to the man of God just to say thanks. Yeah. 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 And I believe in my heart yeah. that everyone just wants to hear somebody say thanks yeah. Yeah. for the things, for the good things that someone had done in their life. Yeah. And, and we take we take so many things for granted as the other nine. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. They weren't wrong, though, because they, they followed instructions. Uh, uh, go show yourself to the priest yeah. uh -huh. uh, so that he can verify that you are healed. Yeah. And then you may re-enter the city and be a part of the community yes. again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got lepers, he said. And I've been away from my family and my friends for a long time. But oh, now man. I meet Jesus. Yeah. I'm so excited because I've been healed by God. Uh, I've been set free. Uh, yeah. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, yeah. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> My Lord. Bless you. Now, it was the power of God that healed him. Yeah. 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 And I got to bless God. Uh, God is saying before you even go to the priest, you ought to bow down before me and reverence me and give right, me thanks. Right. Uh, for yeah. every knee shall bow. Yeah. And every time, yeah. every time yeah. shall confess yeah. that I am Lord. Yeah. And when was the last time that you got on your knees and you praised God? Uh, yeah. My knees hurt now. I can't get down on them. But I'm going to stand and, 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 and go and understand. Uh, yeah. One that came back and was told to go to the priest. Yeah, yeah. But watch, watch the workings of God. All right. When he saw that he was cleansed, yeah. 
Yeah. He returned with a loud voice, glorifying God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And he didn't have to go, uh, he didn't have to uh, go to the priest because he had just entered into the presence of the most highest priest. Yeah. And you can go on your way because you have given me the glory. And isn't God a little selfish? I do believe. <laughs> Looking for you to just be thankful for the good as well as the bad. Yeah. For we are the sheep of yeah. his pasture. Yeah. And are things gloomy in your life and, and, and the road is beginning to get a little rough and, and, and it's all in your attitude about work, the workings of God in your life. Yeah. Now I truly believe that God and I can work these things out. Yeah. So I'm just going to praise him in spite of my situation. Yeah. I'm going to praise him right here in the midst yeah. of this church. Yeah. He inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah. Lord, I just want to say yeah. thank you. Yeah. Lord. You made a way out of nowhere. Yeah. You've been a bridge over troubled water. Yeah. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Lord, you've been mighty good to me. Yeah. But some folks can't praise unless they're on top of the world. Yeah. Unless Breathe. everything Breathe. is going okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then God, I'm going to praise you. But that's being selfish with your worship. Yeah. Your breakthrough is your thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. The presence of the Lord is here. Can yeah. you feel it yeah. in the atmosphere? Yeah. Is there anybody here yeah. that can feel his presence? Yeah. Let me hear you say, yeah. 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 congregation today and today I'd like to do something a little different. I'd just like to close it out with a prayer. Amen. And just join me in prayer. Amen. Father, how grateful we are for your truthfulness of your words. Yeah. We thank you for our faith in you and that you have never let us down. Yes. Amen. 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 Now thank you all again yeah. and blessing yeah. to everyone yeah. that's under
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm just thankful that everybody, hopefully that everybody had a blessed, safe, happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Good to see you all today. Are there any visitors with us at this time? No visitors. Then our announcements are as follows. Uh, Wednesday, we will have Bible class time on uh, November 30th, time 6 p.m. on the conference call line. Remember Sunday school every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. Come out and be blessed. Uh, so pastor still asking for the special offering of the 252 fee by year end. Even though the annual day is celebrated on December the 11th, we still have till the end of the year to continue to pay on that. My Lord. Anyone interested in joining the choir, please see Brother Gerard Mitchell. And like I say, our annual day fellowship celebration will be held on December the 11th, 2022. Each auxiliary is asked to pick a color, and, uh, a color to wear and bring two to three dishes of your choice. Uh, so I hope everyone has got together with Sister uh, Franklin and Sister Thompson to get that settled. And let's have a, a glorious time celebrating our annual day. Union Baptist College and Theological Seminary National Alumni Association 626 South Gallery Street, Gorns, Louisiana, 70119-7518. Dr. M.C. Zeno, National Alumni President, announcing general <laughs> membership business meeting of the Union Baptist College and Theological Seminary National Alumni Association will be held Monday, November 28, 2022 at 6 p.m. Come here about our great school and the plans your alumni association as a current concerning it. All union graduates, persons who attend union and union supporters are invited to join us virtually by Zoom. And the Zoom link information, the meeting ID is 897 5205 7878. The passcode is 008 250. And the dial in information, the number is 1312 626 6799. The meeting ID is 897-5205-7878. And if you're dialing in, you don't need the passcode. And for further information, you can call <coughs> Dr. MC Zeno at 504-341-4858. And if anybody needs this and these, these numbers or information, just see me after church. Amen. That concludes our announcements. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.